Hi, welcome back to Finally Revealed. I'm really excited for this episode. As you know, um, I am an information junkie and that's part of what this channel is all about, is passing on information that comes to me, either that I learn or from other sources. And I'm really happy to tell you about this discovery. You may already know about it. I know lots of people do know about it, but I don't think this is mainstream at all. And I just question why it isn't. And today I want to tell you about Shungite. It is a, a black stone primarily, um, naturally occurring from northern Russia in the Karolian region from a town called Shunga and a place called Lake Onega. And Shunga, the name of that town, is where it got its name. It has various properties that are beneficial for us that we should know about. And so I want to tell you what I have learned. It was recommended to me as a type of protection uh, by putting it in water. And it has uh, metaphysical and spiritual properties, but it has medicinal and physical properties that uh, kind of blew me away. So let me know what you think after I tell you about this and let me know your experiences in the comments below. It was discovered in 1792. It was named in 1885. Follow-up paper was written in 1877. Then in the 1990s, two gentlemen named Robert Curl and Richard Molly after 10 years of research, published a paper, and they won the Nobel Prize in 1996 for in chemistry for their work and information on shungite. It is an organic compound, and this large is in Russia. 200 tons are mined every year, and it is widely available, and it's not expensive. It's already been incorporated into certain industrial uses, and, but it, it's available for you to order online or go to a rock store or maybe a craft store or a metaphysical store that has different types of rocks and gems probably has it for you. So the properties, the beneficial properties are spiritual, electromagnetic, and inside and outside the body. The, all right, let's talk about the electromagnetic one first and then we'll get into the real juicy part which is inside and outside the body. Electromagnetic, we've got 5G coming online, we have Wi-Fi, we've had research about your cell phones and radiation and different things zipping around through the air and Shungite can help there. You can put it on your phone, they have stickers and different things to neutralize it for your computer, for your laptop, or you can take a chunk of it about two inches in diameter for your house and put it on your electrical box for everything that's coming through. Uh, put it by your TVs and things like that to help with the contamination through the airwaves and the radioactivity that comes with those devices. Now inside and outside the body, let's go outside first. We think about our drinking water, but we don't always think about that same water on our skin. Our skin is the most porous, or well, it's our largest organ, but it's porous. And your hair, and you're bathing in this, and what is, at least in the U.S., we have chemicals. We have lots of chemicals in our water. Bathing in a stream of chemicals every day. And a filter with shungite will remove those chemicals. It further, by removing those, it further enhances acne recovery. It helps the skin softening. It removes, reduces flakiness and all of those things are not from the water. They're from the chemicals in the water. So there are shower heads you can get that you either come with or that you can put shungite in them. Your shower stream won't get clogged anymore because the water will be coming through and it will be filtered. So that's on the outside. Now the inside, here we go. From water, it removes heavy metals such as copper, mercury, and lead. It removes toxins such as phenols, dioxins, oil. It removes chemicals such as pesticides and chlorine and fluoride, which contribute and cause heart disease and cancer. It adds potassium to the water and it contains many, many elements of, on the periodic table that are beneficial. It's resistant to chemical attack to it, so it won't corrode impacts the antihistamine effect of the body or the body's reaction to things so it eases and eliminates 
allergic reactions in the body. It slows cancer and HIV cell growth. And the thing that really blew me away, and I will put links below for these papers and things, it removed the streptococcus cells and E. coli. It eradicated it. So I thought this was extremely powerful information. I didn't know why, maybe in 1996 when the Nobel Prize was given, I wasn't paying attention and it was widely publicized. But why don't we have this on our water filters? Why don't we have this on our shower heads? And why are we not drinking water with this? We don't have to buy it in a bottle. We can make it ourselves. So the percentage is for uh, metric is 100 grams of shungite for one liter of water. Use a ceramic carafe or a glass. Just put it in a pit. I just put it in a, the bottom of a pitcher, fill it up with water. The water doesn't have to be special. In fact, this will clean wastewater not only get the impurities out, but you will be able to see through it, it'll be clear. All you have to do then is leave it for two to three days and then you can put a filter on your pitcher and pour right out of it or you can decant it, put it in another container and then start again and make another batch. I will put a video on our Facebook page, Finally Revealed's Facebook page, to show you what happened when I poured a pitcher of shungite water that I was making for myself into my dog's bowl and uh, he didn't see me do it he didn't know what I was doing and I'll, I'll just show you animals know I experienced that before when I bought some electrolyte water for my animals and the cat came downstairs to get into the dog bowl they know the difference so I'll put that video on there just so you can see that just was totally random that happened this morning but this is a principle of this uh, it's a carbon substance and fullerenes is the magic inside shungite. It's a penta pentagonal molecular structure that's different from diamond, graphite, or carbene, which are the other main uh, carbon substances. So it is in that family, but it's just way more powerful. I just thought this was really interesting information. I'm going to use it for my plants, for my animals. Maybe there's a filter. Somebody find a filter that we can put on the hose going out of the house. We don't need to buy any fancy water. We just put these stones in the bottom of our containers and away we go. So anyway, I just really wanted to share this. If this was helpful, if you learned something, give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments or questions below. Subscribe to see our other videos and come back and see me next time. Thanks for watching.